Hi, today I want to talk about the various housing agencies that partner together to um, provide the funding statewide to promote affordable housing. There are several of us and it can get a little confusing with the alphabet soup of our names and organizations, um, but in a quick video I'm not going to be able to do justice to any of the decades of great work of each of these entities. And so there'll be other videos that go into more details about the programs that each of these entities run. Um, every state does things a little differently. Sometimes um, the efforts of housing funding are coalesced into one massive agency and in other states the responsibilities have been split up based on um, how things have evolved in that state over time. And in Vermont, um, the first agency that provides housing funding is through the governor's office under the Agency of Commerce and Community Development there is a Department of Housing and Community Development, DHCD, and they uh, award the federal Community Development Block Grant funds. In Vermont, we call that the Vermont Community Development Program. Uh, DHCD also awards state downtown tax credits as well as federal historic preservation tax credits. They take the lead on um, the state's municipal and regional planning efforts and are the ones to designate various smart growth areas. They're responsible for the state's master housing planning document, the consolidated plan, which goes to HUD every year. And they also modern enforce the state's manufactured home community rules and regulations. They provide research and support for housing initiatives across the state and do a lot of great work. In the late 60s, Vermont created the Vermont State Housing Authority. VSHA is a traditional public housing authority, PHA, that is not a part of state government, but the governor does appoint their board of directors. They administer a statewide Section 8 Housing Choice Voucher Program. And Section 8, or the Housing Choice Voucher Program, is ongoing rental assistance for income qualified renters to help pay their rent. They also work with many private landlords on an older Section 8 program that was very popular in the 70s and 80s. It's unfortunate that both programs are called Section 8 because it can get a little confusing about if we're talking about these buildings that were funded in the 70s and 80s primarily um, called the Section 8 program where all the residents of that property get deeply subsidized rents as a part of living in that building versus the voucher program, which is a voucher that can be used in many different properties and moves with the tenant traditionally to um, to subsidize their rent. There are they have a robust property management department that manages affordable housing statewide. And there are also several local PHAs, but VSHA covers all the state with the exception of Montpelier, interestingly. Next, in the mid-70s, the legislature created the Vermont Housing Finance Agency, where I work. This, we are, too, not a part of state government, but the governor appoints some of our board members. We award federal and state housing tax credits, um, and we make loans to some of those projects, and we also make mortgages and down payment assistance to low and moderate income home buyers. We are funded by the proceeds of our bond sales, tax exempt bonds primarily, and we get a limited profit off the loans that we make. In the late 80s, the state created the Vermont Housing and Conservation Board. This is not a part of state government. Again, when the governor appoints some of the board members and the legislature appoints several of the others. Uh, this is funded primarily through state general appropriations as well as they administer some federal programs. This is one of the very few state organizations in the nation that combines affordable housing and community development through land conservation and historic preservation. It's fascinating and an award-winning model of this dual mission of housing and conservation. They receive the state's Housing and Conservation Trust Fund dollars, so those are state funds that flow through them, as well as federal funding from HUD. 
VHCB's funding is overwhelmingly in support of nonprofit organizations as well as municipalities and state agencies that are conserving land, developing housing, and restoring historic community buildings. For-profit housing developers are eligible for some of their federal funds though. Finally, an entity that we don't think of necessarily with housing, but we should because they are a critical partner, is a branch of the state government, the Agency of Human Services, AHS. They fund agencies who provide emergency shelters, including warming shelters, day stations, shelters for people fleeing domestic abuse. They fund transitional housing services for people experiencing homelessness, as well as homeless prevention. And AHS has some assisted residential programs for people with special needs. There's transitional housing for people leaving incarceration, and they provide grants for housing costs like emergency assistance funds, help paying for homes heating, as well as weatherization. All of these entities deserve their own video, and so we'll be talking with people at those entities as well as orienting you more to each of these programs I've highlighted. But those, that's the overview of the various agencies and how they each work together to take a little piece to provide the affordable housing needs in our state.